So, welcome back, dear friends and deep thinkers. This is our air. is hella old. <laughs> this is us. We're even older. Ah, but we had some quality time with our best friend. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we're, we're still alive. I mean, we're ailing, but we're, we're ailing for like 10 years or so. We've even been at the brink of death, but... Uh, uh, that brink. That brink, probably. After this talk, we'll probably die soon. Right, let's let's doom it forever. Um, we're still trying to get pressure a little bigger and from time to time release some kingdoms. Now, we could again try to to get uh but we'll probably do something about denmark in the next generation rather now it would be interesting to attack king emmanuel of Aquitaine, now, but we have already done that apparently and so oh look at him he has high blood pressure where did he get that i didn't know that was even possible and he's linguistically challenged, but he's still, his health is good, he's robust. He's robust, he has the Kingdom of Aquitaine. Hmm. We have here the Kingdom of Italy, but they are proud Vitalists, right, of the Wilkes dynasty. So everything's good here. Hmm. The question is, so where, into which direction should we go? We've got Mordwinia here, King Glande, our son, is ruling here. And he should be ruling very well. Um, so the question is where to go, what to do, and... Um, look at... Look at King Gurth. He's winning against the men of Munster, but he's in a war, and he's allied with Cornwall. Oh, that seems kind of corny to me. I mean, we have a lot of money and stuff, so we could, we could maybe, we buy. Why wouldn't we, right? I mean, it's, it's, it wouldn't be bad, right? I, how about we would attack Winchester or here, Chelmsford, London? Yeah, 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 yeah. Into that direction. That would be really interesting. Let's see. How is that called? The, the Duchy of East Saxe. Yeah, that, that would be nice. Let's go to war for that duchy. What does Prince of Alveda? The Earldom of Middle Saxe. Okay. Let's go for the Duchy of East Saxe. That seems to be a very good idea. But is that a strategic decision? I mean, we could get this chunk. We could also expand into this area. Which would also be probably a nice idea. So, Wessex and then Cornwall. That would definitely be also a nice idea. I mean, I think this, that that is a better idea even. So control all of that and then eat your way up here. We'll try that. Holy war! Deus Volt! Uh, raise the men at arms. Get the Chosen of Pecunas. They're not even the biggest. We have the Warriors of the Ostras Cox, who are also pretty great. But we have a best mix here. And then we'll call in like tons of people, of course. Um, first, our allies. We have a ton of allies. For kids and people we married our daughter to, things like that. We're spending some prestige for that. And that is fine. Uh, we should at least go for the house members, right? These are only counts, but they definitely count. 
have really taken care to improve the economy of our realm. And so in general, even our counts uh, or even the barons are pretty much well armed actually because we don't have we don't allow uh, wars between our people so yeah there's just a lot to be coming their way Let's see who who that will be. Baroness Ed Edla of Egger. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're all coming, aren't you? We can also call in the dynasty, but because yeah, you can see how many dynasty points we have, it's just <laughs> better call in more people earlier than than call in less people later. You know. King of Italy is super powerful. We already have the King of Hungary, who is, I think, the second most powerful man. The dynasty. Ta -da -da. Oh, the King of Romania. Yeah, Romania is a great territory. Oh, King of Norway. The Impaler of Pom of Wilhenia. Oh well. Ruthenia. My goodness. The King of Lucky. I, I don't know. Really, it's all pretty crazy. Um... It's just so many people. Okay, we have we've called in most kings. We're we're in a good spot. Um, let's let's see about our council, right? We want to convert faith somewhere. There's still a lot of Catholicism. Let's just continue here. Let's promote our culture even more. Armenia, Burgundian, French, Franco, Greek. There's a little bit of Prussian culture here. We could continue that. Um, if we expand it along this way. We could also just continue here. That country would be nice. That's probably the easier way. Um, and... Yeah, it, it might be good to raise the local army too. At least a little bit. Down, down. So many people will learn to fear something. What? King Octun, our nephew, replaced us? That's impossible, but hey. But hey. King of Poland. Hmm. So many people are coming. Uh, we would really like to... Hmm. Maybe stop this gathering here now. Our nemesis. Uh, can we befriend this man? We'll try. We want to get rid of these nemesis things. The lure of language. Ah, you're right. Time to hit the books. And inspiration. Oh, yeah, we, we got a book. King Mills' Law and Ordinance. Monthly stewardship experience. 20%? Wow! An opulent tome that shows an excellent understanding of stewardship as it touches upon subjects such as lawmaking. The cover is wood that has been painted to display a repeating image of floral motifs. 
A tiny but elegant inscription on the first page dedicates it to my beloved Linda. Our queen and friend. Wonderful. I'm, I'm so impressed. It's a good book. We will keep that. What's happening here? Ah, yeah, it's our new chord artifact. Here we go. Oh, it's a chord artifact book. Okay, all right. The vassal limit. Wow, nice. Nice thing, but we, we don't need it yet because we're not learning stewardship. Mm, everything's going relatively well here. Now, let's see. Want someone here who can siege well. We would probably want our son at the helm of the chosen. He's also a holy warrior. That is just fitting. Um, let's go to the barony of Chelmsford. Uh, or, or maybe London. Yeah, why not straight out there, London? And we have Pekunas here. You'll, you'll wait here. And the rest, a drunken brawl, the tavern in Alpsee is the perfect place to forget about the troubles of the world, but tonight's an exception. As ill luck would have it, sitting just one table over from Gurkhas and I is my rival Ruxandra. What the heck, this woman is our rival? She's been a nuisance? Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> All it took was one more accidental spill of a spiced wine over my arm and suddenly Gurkhas was on her feet. Well, she's pretty strong, but we are pretty much stronger. She rides in turn, and the two are in the process of rather drunkenly squaring up by the time I manage to hold myself to my feet as well. Gurkhas, a granddaughter. Stand aside. Ruxandra is mine. <laughs> what does she have? Does she even have anything? No, she has, oh, she has a book about the fine art of war. The sudden twitch our bout begins. Um, Ruxana's sword moves into a lazy defensive position and she begins shouting me down her tone. What one would use for a misbehaving serf, not a king. Have we already gained? Aha. Uh, uh -huh. mm, a dual handicap rank. Oh, what does that even mean? Prowess minus four. That shouldn't play any role. Um, yeah. This will work just like it does in the Legends, right? We try to copy a famous move from our favorite book. Mm -hmm. I do my best to recall the Legends in the spur of the moment and try to have my sword as the heroes of old. It's enough for a solid blow against my surprised foe. Ruxandra shifts into a defensive stance, a sword forming a damn near impenetrable wall of perfect parries between me and her. My form's good, with only small errors, and Ruxandra's stance is passable. My opponent is reeling from me, victory so close I can practically sense it. Um, She's reeling from me. Strike, parry, riposte. We throw a flurry of rapid attacks and counters. We win the fight. My sword arm moves fast as lightning and strikes hard as sundered stone. Blow by blow, I beat my opponent into bloody succumbent submission, hammering her into the ground with all the fury Perkunas can lend me. Then all that's left is a quivering pile of bleeding woman. I wonder if I've gone too far. And Ruxandra cuffs hard enough to lose her grip on a sword. And I allow myself a little sigh of relief. With a worry over, I kick my foe's weapon away and lay my own against her throat. It takes a few tries, but Ruxandra gets the yield out eventually. I am victorious. <laughs> Gods, what the heck? <laughs> she was wounded for a short time, at least. Let's split this troop up. I'm sorry, uh, can't we not? We can't split this in half. And this too. And then we can distribute a bit. Very sweet. Let's get over there. 
Wow, it will take forever to take that fort. But we have help coming. Ah, we have learned the Doi Vulgar language. Okay. Time well spent. We've become obese again. Nah, this is dangerous. What have we become obese from? People are coming in. Oh no! Glundewilks died a leper. 77 year old leper. Our court tutors did. Whom do we want there? Echelis, our grandson and cultural emissary. I mean, he's good at that, so why not? Here we go. So some prisoners, but we don't care. We don't care who they are and where. Anyone from England coming? Ah, we have little grasses here. Very nice. Oh yeah, let's send her to university. There's a scheme. Hmm, stealing artifacts. Grand Prince Glunda's friendship? Mm -hmm. He's a vassal in the Canard. Uh, sure. Also a Vitalist. Let's become true friends. Mm -hmm. We will get London. Oh no, Philip died. What? Philip died in my dungeons? Grandson of Duchess Elvira. We have to look if we have kids in the dungeons. My goodness me, that was really terrible. How did that happen? Is there another kid here? Beatrice, yeah. She'd be here. We can ransom her. Oh well. How is she? She's of the Carling dynasty. We could keep her here. Mm -hmm. Oh, Genevieve de Saint-Tois as well. Yeah, we'll release the kids. Now, where do we go next? There's a burrow. Army here. There's the barony of Colon Kista. Schema discovered. Yeah. Yeah, we're going over there. She's coming in. Uh, does she have a garden? Guardian? Nope. Uh, we need someone to. She'll become Prussian. We'll send her to university. Will we? No. We will not. Here we go. Watch your step now. And Beatrice. Uh, wow, she's pretty strong. Um, there's no relationship yet. We will give her a guardian. Beatrice de Santois. Sieging around here. Everyone's coming in with us. Oh yeah, artifacts. Till the bitter end, as I lay upon my bed, prostrated by my sickness and cursing my weak failing body, can barely make out the human figure approaching there. Slow steps and heavy silence are starting to scare me. Ah, look at you now. Not so fearsome anymore, are you? Did you even recognize me, you abhorrent bastard? It's me, Ruxandra. Can't believe my luck. So long I have dreamed to see you so low and broken. I barely find strength to murmur. Have you just come to gloat? Her bitter laughter dislodges some unpleasant memories in my mind, but a dull fog in soon engulfs them again. Can't even remember why we hated each other so much. I tried to move, escape, scream, anything, but my frail body has long stopped listening to me. Oh no! You know what? I forgive you. Yeah, we, we forgot why we did that. We're not dead. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. I thought we'd die now. 
The Gonis can marry. I have a grandson. Wonderful. Let's give him someone good. The Vidalut Beatrix of Austria. I mean, at least she's lustful. She is an interesting choice. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's let's give him that. Let's give him that. Who knows? Maybe he can profit from that. What is now in the royal court? Achilles. Achilles approaches me with concerns regarding the state of educational materials. Yeah, buy all the materials. You can you can have that Vratislav Wilks Slagelzy, another hero in the making. Um, oh, he could become Croatian. No, we want him to be Prussian, of course. Uh, how is Grazis doing? Oh, he's ailing. Hmm. Maybe rather Dagas. Convert, send to university. Little Vratislav. Fickle Philip. Oh, my carpenter seeks inspiration. I have just the tonic. It has never worked. The Vidalude accepts. Wonderful. Wonderful. Um, oh, yeah. Our grandson. Let's give him some gifts. So we can maybe... Maybe make something. Hmm. I don't know, do we have like some medium important armor or something? No, not really. Already gave him something. Uh, let's give him some money. Maybe he can do something with the money. I mean, he's a temperate and patient elusive shadow, so he'll surely be good at that. Schema, Timothée, okay. Continuing here, Barony of Cholmesford, interesting stuff. Inspiration realized, the jewelry casket. This is so lovely. So we've taken this on now. There's all kinds of people sieging here, so we'll just go into another direction. Let's uh, siege Cambridge. What's going on in the Royal Court? Ah, yeah, we have that one new artifact. Here we go. That jewelry casket. Hmm. No one's coming to fight us. They're way too afraid, apparently. Someone else? Grazos is again absent? I will investigate this myself, but no proof. Yeah, we bonded with King Alexei, who is no longer our nemesis now. He's now our friend instead. Okay, um, we have another rival, King Stanislav of Polabia. Uh, maybe we can befriend him as well. The young pup with his 95 years. <laughs> what have we learned? We, have, we can write history. Commission epic decision, nice. Yeah, if anyone can make an epic, uh, we should. We're in an army, though. We're in an army? <laughs> what the heck? Ah, uh, well. Who will the little guy get as... Daniel? I don't want to be in an army. Where Where is our freaking army? That's us here. Duke Aurelius could do that. Mm. Now we can commission an epic. 
Epic. Um, Haya Olave. Hmm. We'll invite him to court. Uh, did we know? Uh, what did we do now? Okay. Um, Olavi Tempera. Okay. It should focus um, my claims um, on me, on my destiny. Yeah, why not? Uh, let's arrange a marriage for him too. Um, Maria Wilkes Lagelze, sure. Here you go. He's not a bad choice. He will be pretty rich now. Everyone's sieging around here. Stop the villains. Holy order hired. Oh, look, there's some little troop of the Kingdom of England coming. We gain another rival, but Stanislav of Polavia is done. His son is ruling now. Uh, let's befriend this son here. King Stichabo. Tension's cool. Why do I waste my time with this nonsense? A question of time? Yeah, um... Yeah, you'll get more money, man. Just take your time. Take your time. We need an epic epic. Become obese again? No! Valentin Wilkes Slagelze. May grow strong and wise, and who shall educate the little one? Uh, Gertrude? Sure. Gertrude can do that. We're at death's doorstep. That's not great. Um, maybe we'll lead an army again, just to do something, you know, maybe lose weight. You go to Salisbury. A Redis Wilkes. <coughs> I'm sorry, an ah, an excellent fighter. See it helped. It helped. Maybe it will get us out of this death's doorstep thing. Honesty and perception. Uh, 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 true to life. Mm. Tell a good story. True to life. We want something historical. Maybe we can finish this epic, I don't know. That would be great. Stop the villains. Guards! Oh my goodness me. Oh look, there's like 40k. The Chosen of Pekunas can come to help. George! Um, let's walk over here. I don't know. Precedence! Um... We can let this pass. Don't care. Mm. We have some people coming in here. Everybody go there. Charge! Scheme at court. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we have these guys here. Let's go over there and help out. And you go over there and help out. 
Well, we're sieging around here. Stop the villains. We have an excellent epic again, the Wilksy Chronicon. Ah, wonderful. A touching moment. A touching moment, but not epic enough. Not epic enough, but maybe this... Oh, we see the Anglo-Saxon crown of Wiki. Ha, yeah, Mr. Tampere. We made a friend. We bonded over many a good story. Indeed, we did. Indeed, we did. And we... Oh, we have a legendary armorer. And we won this war. We won this wonderful war. Disband that. Yeah, that's fine. That's super nice. Uh, yeah, indeed. We, we got Winchester. Oh, ho, ho. Let's see. We have Prince Olenix. Prince Alvidas. Um, here's the Duchy of Kent. Here's the Duchy of Chuvasia. He's got nothing. Prince Jagutis. Okay, little one. You you will have to get this stuff. Dorset, Hampshire. That stuff. And... The Duchy of Wessex will be in your hands. Oh, there's also the County of White. Yeah, you'll also get White. Mm. You'll get something to start with. Let's see. Uh, what can we give you, little one? Um... Mm. I don't really know. The Anglo-Saxon crown of wiki. Seems to be an old thing. It's a pretty good one. A Despotissa Julia's mace. Oh, that's a pedestal item. Uh, the fine battle axe of judgment. Sure. What else will you get? Mm, little, little, little one. Fine spare. Nah. No, no, no. The holy finger of widow. And some freaking money. Here, here you go. Here you go, little one. You'll get a ton of money. Maybe maybe you can keep it and profit from it. Hooray. An obnoxious fiend. We could, we could, we could, we could, we could. Hold a mystical communion. Yeah, we want that. We want to host an exotic feast to celebrate everything. Maybe the feast will save us. Cheery. Welcome, friend. Welcome, welcome. The high table breaks and King Chibo now becomes our friend. Our last rival is gone. We, we can die a friendly friend man. We're 103 years old now. Uh, wonderful. What a man. What a man. The feast ends. Uh, we can call for a hunt. Let's call for a hunt. We want everything. Everything, everything, everything. What well, there's old riddleists in Alsace. Uh... 
I don't get it, but I guess it makes them happy. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. As things are looking, I will only return with shame. Could gain humble honesty. Oh, we could gain a hunting trophy. I will not sink so low. I'd rather return empty-handed. Hmm. -hmm. Our grandson was taken prisoner. What the heck? By the Emperor of the... What? Uh, what happened here? Who is he at war with? He's attacking Glanda of Mordvinia. That cannot be. Leopold von Genf, our is our he's our grandson he can marry, okay. We need a matrilineal marriage for this guy. With Heinal Wilkes. Wonderful. Uh, can negotiate an alliance with Prince Jagutis. Good. Can change his contract. Yeah. Uh, we cannot really. Uh, because he's already... We can ransom this guy. And we should try help out. Um... Mordvinia, right? Um, how can we... Could offer to join the Holy War for the Kingdom of Mordvinia. Let's leave this adventure behind. Uh, someone wants to get this guy, wonderful. And yeah, we should we should actually offer that to him, right? We will join your war. And we have joined the war. Now we need to get something close to Prussia here, maybe Novosil or here. Let's see, twelve thousand. 9,000. Uh, but there's the majority of the troops is here, so we will have to hire troops. Just around this place here. Raising the men at arms. Raising a local army and the Chosen of Pecunus. Here we go. Of course, they have no leader. Eh? Child of my dynasty, Cedars. Good Cedars. Uh, we'll send her to university, yes. Okay, I, th I think that's enough. We can commission an artifact. A, uh, we, we're just hiring artisans here. Mm. Okay, all right, all right. I, th I think we've seen a lot. Uh, we, we have these two armies that can go to our sudden air. Charge! Now we've got this army. Mm. A Redis of Sleswick is good at... Um, Logisticianing. We'll also come over with this. Charge! Anything else happening here? Uh, yeah, he's forging a crown. 
Good stuff. Charge. A vassal to remember. Mm. To Mildes and Sagonis. I have someone to impress. A Countess Wesleykan will be our friend. Or Vidalud Alexandra will become our lover. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> A romantic gesture. Mm, Gauronas. Gauronas, Gauronas. Uh, who shall teach you? Our grandson is good at that. Wonderful. Send Gauri to university. We're getting into this. Loyalty or fear? Yeah. We want loyalty. Charge. Artifact claim. Murder attempt. Duke Matthias. Survived. Okay. Uh, Duke Birkin is coming. With money. I accept your generous gifts. And we're preparing to meet your armies in the fields of battles. Charge! Oh, we're obese again. Oh no! Um, consider this angle. We had a strange noise. I was born this day, 104 years ago. The older I get, the more I cherish the relationships I've cultivated over the years. That saddens me that I have not heard of from my wife, Linda, or any of my friends today. Oh, happy birthday! What a surprise. All my nearest and dearest friends have come together to wish me well as I begin this next year of life. Uh, <laughs> okay. There's an entire table laden with saffron cakes, my favorite. Oh, my friend Gulbis approaches me, struggling to carry... Three beautifully wrapped packages. Ever the tricksters, she says, I've got three gifts for the choosing. Uh, give me the medium sized one. Aha. Uh -huh. Wow. King Mills's Philogalos. Wow. A beautiful collection of jokes. Nice. Diplomacy lifestyle. We get a joke book. <laughs> Lutbrand helps out. Yeah, sure. Oh, something, something, we, we've met something, someone here. Okay, that's nice. Uh, no longer obese. Wonderful. We captured some people here. I don't even know. Charge! Uh, we're close to the end. Uh, I'll be dead within a year. We still have a year? Okay, that's nice. Um, dead within a year. Charge! Come on, get over here. The baby eating Vidile? What the heck, our friend and lover? It's another what lovely day of prayer and service from my wonderful Vidilute. As I prepare to leave, Alexandra stops in my way. She waits until everyone else is gone, then leans in close to my ear. My king, I must tell you, I am no stranger to life's pleasures. No form of perversion is too deprived for me. Animal, vegetable, or mineral, frankly, I'll do anything, do anything, and there's no joy in this life finer than consuming the flesh of young ones. You've not lived until you've tasted your own flesh, my king. I'd love nothing more than to have you for dinner. This evening, what? Surprise doesn't begin to describe what I feel to hear this. What in the world am I meant to say? Ah, uh, what? <laughs> Gods, uh, just smile and move along. Just smile and move along. This is too good. We wouldn't do this. But look, our son, our 85-year-old son, who is already ailing, 
has called the Byzantine Wool Banner a fine addition to my collection. What have we found here now? What have we found here? Ah, oh, such good things. Such good things that we caught. How's it going here? Our son is doing crazy things. And uh, it seems the... The Byzantines are busy. Mm -hmm. We'll go over to Penza to siege, will we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we'll go over there and siege. I don't know. Let's just do that. They can, like, lose their selves out of there. Mm hmm. Count Tull has learned Baltic. Nice. Nice. What's what's happening here? We can ransom this guy. Ah, ha, ha, ha. A prisoner of the Irrational Zealot. We can change Jagutis' contract. And yeah, we could seclude ourselves, but we don't need to. We really don't need to. Is there anything that we could do? In diplomacy? No, not not currently. Not currently. Inspiration realized the Prussian shield. Another wall ornament. Magnificent. Magnificent. What's happening now? One new code artifact. Yeah, it's that freaking Prussian shield. It's fantastically fantastic. Loathsome fiend flonk. Okay, let's go over to Uvac. Some evacuations. What are they doing here? Okay, Fickle Philip. Uh, my metalsmith. Give him a tonic. What, he died? Oh my goodness. He <laughs> died. Okay, the Chosen of Pecunas. We'll send them over to Vladimir. The rest of our people will stay here. Mm. Child of my dynasty. Yeah, wonderful. Aldona Wilkes Saarbrücken. Why is she... Why is she... Bastard. Oh, I don't know. She's Polish, though. Uh, may you grow strong and wise. Aha. Uh -huh. She was effing around a bit, I guess. <laughs> Everyone's out of supplies now. Interesting. King Kaizan's friendship. Who the heck? Uh, no. Go away, man. Go away. Are we not sieging here? Wow. Charge! We're getting into this. And we can do it. Professional armies, here we come. Another child, little Achilles. We shall educate him. Need him someone good. Wonderful. Running around, Prince Mildes survived an attempt on his life. Son and vassal, and we're even here in the Battle of Bakhmut. George, where are you going? Huh. 
hundred acre acre fields constructed in Sjelland. All right. All right. Let's get some houses going. Oh, the chosen of Perkunas are here. Uh, getting into the into the forests, aren't we? Yay, 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 yay. Yo, if we cover bees again. People are nearing this. Ah, we have a new diplomacy perk. Yay. Yay. Dignitas. They're very dignified. And no longer obese. Boiling anger. It's so charming. We'll win this war. Oh no, we have died. King Milsus of Prussia has given up the ghost at 105 years of age. He's ruled 41 years. He died of thought to be immortal. He surprised many with his unexpected passing. King Sagonis ascends to the throne, loyal to his spouse and family. Sagonis is certain to place the good of his dynasty above all personal concerns. This was us. This was us. And we lost nothing. Yeah, fought in 25 wars. A master of just about everything. Uh, even older than the legendary leper, cannibal leper of uh, Prussia. We have, we have survived by far the longest, a, a lifespan that was thought impossible before us. We've ruled for 41 years. We were already old when we, when we became king. We were already 64 years old. And now we've ruled for 41 years. Uh, King Kluk is ruled longer than us, and King Svatopluk, of course, as well. But other than that, we're pretty much in the middle of everything, and now we're continuing as, king, as the the very round King Sagonis of Prussia. We already have 174,000 gold. Fed chance. We'll continue as King Sagonis the Second. A fantastic, a fantastic warrior, to be sure. Uh, rich beyond compare. And in control of, of many lands. We will see what we can do <laughs> in his future. We're all, we're feeling fine. We were, we were not feeling, we were ailing, but now... We're feeling fine again. So as we're fe feeling so fine, and uh, let's let's just see what what lifestyle did we have? We have what? We could choose stewardship. We can unlock twenty. We have twenty stewardship perks available. What the heck? What, what? What? What happened there? What the actual? Yeah. Uh, okay. Enemy agent acceptance. What? Uh, yeah. Let's get us some. I don't know. Is wealth focus good? I'm really not not sure about that. But we have 20 of these points, so we're... <laughs> I don't know how that goes. We should place them, right? Um, hmm. Courture and guest opinion. 
The duty focus. We don't need a percentage of income or well, well let's let's go for the duty focus. Let's see. What what we what help us being an administrator? That would be nice. An architect. What would an architect be? Not something that we need. And avaricious. Stewardship and higher taxes. Uh, I don't know. That would increase our income. That would help us build faster. And that would give us more taxes through vassals. Which is also pretty good. I mean, we can fill out two of these just like that. Hmm. <laughs> what would architect entail? Even better reductions. Yeah, we gain a lot of money from our vassals, so let's get down that one and that one, and then we'll see. Okay. Down, 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 down. And we'll also be likable. Probably no one will rebel against us with that kind of administration. Here we go. Now we're an administrator. And... We'll get forward here. The tax man. Yeah, collect taxes. Gets better. Um, very high thing here. We're an architect. And then we can go golden payment and... Yeah, why not more vassal tax contribution? Here we go, the Heer Guild. And how about we want to give ourselves um, some kind of... Hmm... That could be something we we might plan, right? Some kind of a building spree. Some kind of a building spree. Let's let's do the not that important things. Let's see what we can have. We have the Alvidas spare of pain. Oh, hmm, hmm. We can go for Penner's sword instead. Then we have the impenetrable Wilkes mail. And we have the leopard hat. But we need the Polish crown of pressure. Ah, come on now. Can we just somehow? Yeah, here we go. Miraculous shiny the Budo male of Dagonis the third of mercy ten fourteen fifteen oh yeah that thing's an even better choice okay let's see we have King, King Golding's regalia um. the Wilkes regalia here will help us out. We have trinkets. What do we want? Is Varme Propaganda Chronicle? We would like to have something with health bonus, eh? Mm. The Taper of St. David. Let's see what we have here. Or a Dawn Serene figurine, the decorated cockatrice figurine. Cockatrice, 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 and. Hmm. I mean, we want to live longer, eh? Buildings, construction costs. 
Prussian court politics. I don't even know what that thing should be. Lucky Prussian coin, that gives us a lot of income. Hmm, the propaganda classic. Uh, I don't know, the scarab brooch. Yeah, that also gives a small boost in health. So very healthy will we be. Very healthy and powerful. Apparently. What else? We have, yeah, we should repair these artifacts. Duchess mm. Wesleyan sword, really? Fine veins of trade. Yeah, stewardship stuff. Negotiating alliances, sure. Dukes and stuff. We have, of course, too many held duchies. We have a concubine. Aidna, we have no kid with her. Now with these. Mm, Clara Auderdochter. Wilkes, sure. She seems like a fine choice, eh? On the other hand, um, Dagas Pregolius, uh, Yekaterina Makedon Ainos, I'm not sure, Genevieve de Santois, sure, and Pieter Nell Auder Dochter. No, then let's let's rather go with her here. Very prestigious. Who shall be our hmm, our Chancellor? Who is best at that? Duke Godoutus of Hologaland, he's ailing. Duke Milsus, he's fine. Duke Milsus of Pomerelia. Sure, he's a true diplomat. And then we have a steward available. Our nephew would be great at that. Sure, let's choose him. He has 37 stewardship. He should be good, kind of. Mm, who should be a marshal? Duke Sagonis of Franconia, his 34 marshal. That's pretty good, I'd say. Here we go. Uh, and a spy master, of course. Who would be that? Duke Octun. He's already ailing. Eh. Duke Wilhelm. We cannot trust this man. Duke Tadeus, he likes us. Vassal and commander, our cousin and vassal. Duke Galindas, just greedy and content. Trusting, fickle, chaste. Boleslav is honest, just and greedy. Uh, Humble, ambitious, temperate. Oh, just cynical, impatient. Honest, shy, wrathful. Arrogant, cynical, wow. They are really not great. We, we don't have great choices here. Maybe trusting, fickle and chaste. From Count Deus might be the best thing. Yeah. We don't want a deceitful spy master. So it's him, it's him. Hmm, yes, kind of 
a lot of dangerous factions, I guess. Uh, can be there. I don't know. We have a lot of Wilkes, but not nearly enough. We have a lot of income. We could we could instantly celebrate other cultures. Well, Seven hundred. That's pretty good. We can commission another artifact. Crowns. We could find a Baltic linguist. We we can we we have um, sizzle pin language ah. We kind of want to convert culture. Um, We'll search for someone to teach Baltic your code language. Ay, 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 ay. Known languages. We know Baltic. Can we somehow. Can we convert our. Convert to the local culture? Ah, we can do that when the war is over. Well, that's fine then. That's fine then. We have way too many health duchies. So we have n that thing. A kingdom of Prussia. Prussia, Prussia, Prussia. It's here. Alright, the kingdom of Prussia is here. Let us see. What do we have? This county? Res is not really under our control. Who are these people? Are they of Wilkes? Yeah. Everybody here is of Wilkes house. No, not this guy. Not this guy. Uh, but that also belongs to the Duchy of Samogetia. This is the Duchy of of Prussia, 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 and I believe we have like all the Wilkes series. Yeah, yeah. How's Wilkes Slonin? Yeah, it's it's fantastic, um, in a way. Also have tons of armies left here. Let's see. Where do we start? Well, when we're starting in a situation that is not that critical, but it's also not that hard. We're defending um, our, I think, half-brother now. Yeah, we're defending him against the Byzantine Empire. And we're pretty successful at that. So, that is what we'll do. And of course, further, further pressure, and most probably, continue the invasion of England. And of course, Aquitaine, if we can, but not at the moment, because we have armies raised and there's a war, and we have to give up like a lot of lands to our sons and vassals. They're partly already pretty busy. But you can see that they still have capacity open. 
And they are also some really legendary rulers. At least with many trinkets, as you can see here. So have a great time until next time and happy gaming. This is Immanuel Khan signing out. See you soon. And happy gaming until we come back to Prussia and our oldest starting king ever. See you soon and happy gaming. Have a great time until then.